Hey y'all, it's Devi Maisha of Sensual Energy Alchemy, coming to you live and direct from the studio of my bed, and pondering the idea of what it means to be sexually liberated. This is a phrase that's being tossed around, especially for women, for those of us who are in uh, sacred sexuality, whether that's Tantra, Taoism, or something of our own studies, and many of us say that we're sexually liberated and this comes up because uh i know that cardi b has video out something about twerk girls i i haven't watched it uh just because it's not my thing i've seen enough clips of it to to get a, a vague idea of what it's about and she's not the first person to do this right i mean when little kim first came out oh my god i remember the uproar you know her and foxy brown and it was just like what and I remember as a young woman thinking it was too much and thinking maybe they seem empowered. They're like taking back their sexuality and, you know, that type of thing. Being sexually liberated, liberation is to free, right? So it means that you're sexually free. And there's nothing wrong with that. I want all women to be sexually free but not sexually free in a sense of just the activity of intercourse sexually free is also to understand the magic of your sexuality it's to understand the magic of sex it's to understand how it creates how it disrupts how it changes the landscape of everything and how as women that's that's a serious power that we have and so how are, we, how are we going to choose to use that power? Well, the simplest and easiest way to use it is to shake our ass in a video. Mesmerizing, as it should be. Mesmerizing. Gorgeous, beautiful. But that's the, the lowest level of what we can do. And I take no, no real serious issue with, with the video. Again, you know, I mean, I, I listened to little Kim you know, when I was in my early 20s. But I listened to her into the context of having already been taught about womanhood and what it meant to be a woman. I can't imagine how I would have interpreted Little Kim's lyrics if I were 13 and had no one who showed me what womanhood looked like. And so therein is where I somehow take a little bit of issue with Little Kim and Foxy Brown and Nicki Minaj and Cardi B and all of these other women who have this tremendous amount of power in so many ways, right? I mean, these are powerful women choosing to use it in the smallest fraction of what they have available to them. that power can be used to change the world that power can be used to heal that power can be used to change the landscape of everything that's going on or it can be used to entertain and make money and i don't want to cast judgment one way or the other what I'm seeking is balance. If the twerk girls, if that video is designed to show women being empowered, I just want to see something on the other side that does the same. If we're talking about chakra healing and moving the energy through the body which is absolutely true do the women in that video know that do they know the energy that they're creating are they in full understanding of their power as women or are they only looking at it through this small piece of what they can do and the girls who are watching, are they understanding? Are they grasping the power? Or are they just looking at this as a way to use their power at the basis level possible? 
because I'm, I'm all about sexual liberation. I'm all about women doing what they do, how they do it, when they do it with awareness and understanding of how powerful we truly are. Not just from the get mine. That's cool sometimes. Not just from the perspective of, you know, security, because women do that too. We use our sexual power to make sure that we're securely taken care of. It's been happening since the earth was formed. But awareness and understanding and cultivating that. And then bringing that back to heal our communities. Bringing that back to not just entice our men, but entice our men into healing. Huh? Can we entice our men into healing? No, oh, we can entice them into giving us some dollars. But can we, can we grab onto their spirit instead of their wallet? See where we can take this? Be sexually liberated. Be free, libre, be, be free. But with freedom comes responsibility. How, how are we as women using that? Are we shaping, changing, molding the next generation? Does that sound like too much? It's not fun? We just want to shake our ass and have fun? Knowing that we give birth to everything? So we want to shake our ass and have fun and then say that we're empowered at the same time, but not use that power that we have? No, 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 sis. Shake your ass and have fun and use your power. And use it wisely. Shift your community. Did you know you could do that with that sexual liberation? Shift how you use it. Stop going for the low-hanging fruit. His, his dollars. His wallet. Get his soul. Get his soul and bring that out. Cult, help cultivate that. Huh? Because if you can entice him with your ass, you know he's going to want to do what he can do to keep that there. What are you going to do with that? So I'm not saying don't have fun. I'm not saying don't be sexually free. Please be free. With great power comes great responsibility. Let us not be corrupted by our power. How does that make us any different from the patriarchy? If we use our sex as the base level of power, how does that make us any different from the men that we claim we, we don't, you know, we don't want that. Hmm? Be sexually free, be free, be liberated. I'm all for it. But use the power wisely. We can shift nations and change the world. How are you using your sexual liberation? Are you going for the low hanging fruit? Or are you about shifting and moving shit? Just a thought. <laughs>